That's the one. That's it. Boop, boop, boop. Top water time. What's up guys, coming at you from the U-Haul Public Storage this morning. We're over here at a golf course pond that we know does not get hit with golfers for at least an hour after sunrise. And I'm here with the one and only Jason J. Gone Fishing from ATX Austin, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. We actually linked up for a previous video. You guys have probably seen it. Fishing the urban city ponds. No, urban strip, what is that? We fished Ladybird Lake out in Austin. Had a bunch of fun. Been keeping uh, touch on Instagram and through text afterwards. And somehow we ended up on our couch last night and here we are this morning right at the crack of sunrise on a lack of sleep, ready to hit the top water that we know they will explode on over here. They've hit the plopper here in the past and we're gonna try and throw some buzz baits too. And then we're gonna hit them with whatever they wanna bite on after that but the sun's coming up we're gonna get on the gopro and we're gonna get things started so just uh stay tuned you filming bro i'm filming you, you filming, filming me <laughs> stay put don't move Whew, that's the one check us out starting off with the whopper plopper 30 pound braid could go with 50 but 30 is what we've always had pretty much so i'm gonna start upgrading to 50 when i reline a lot of my braid rods i believe braid reels and uh speaking of rods i just snapped this one freaking like my favorite one dude ridiculous we uh, closed it in the Subaru door the other day, so basically this one's got like a two inch tip chopped off, but I think she'll still perform just fine. Yep, get right there. Go ahead and get right there and cast all the way down along that grass, just like the first one. later where are they at boys are they just out deep this morning got him yes god it's about time ladies and gentlemen <laughs> we've been out here for a hot minute i was worried if we were going to catch any fish today it's probably been about 30 minutes we threw the top water and they weren't hitting i switched over to the lunker log and i didn't get any bites probably just because I didn't get right in front of one's face like this one finally got in front of him and uh, we got a nice little pound and a got a nice little quarter pounder and I was getting worried I'm like we're gonna have to switch pawns this one normally produces but uh, anyways you guys we were throwing the top water for a minute he was going buzz bait I'm throwing the plopper nothing 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 we see fish exploding and anyways we switched to the bottom baits and uh, I'm throwing an Okeechobee craw cracking craw got it done right here by the grass line so I don't. They'll de do they hit jigs here? Um, you might consider black and blue, but that will, I mean, that'll get it done. Okay, let's get back in there. There could actually be another one right here in that little pocket that I just caught him. So I'm gonna give her a little dangle, a little double dangle. Where's the big mamas? Did you fish the bottom over on that end or no? You did? I don't normally get too many hits. I'm just wondering if they're doing something different today and maybe they're over there, but dude. Normally they're just right along the edge of this grass. Like that, like that. There's number two. <laughs> oh gosh. Number two, he was actually a little further out, but I would cast out here because I bet you there's quite a few off this point. We can probably capitalize on. The whole point of bringing you here is that you catch the fish. Okay, numero dos. Get in there. I would say if you don't get any bites in 10 minutes, we'll move on along. Because if the big ones aren't biting here, we'll go elsewhere. Got him. You want one of these crawls for a trailer, little blue flash? I got one in my pocket. There we go, there's number three, you guys. Okeechobee crawl color is kind of doing the trick, I think. I'm pretty sure, based on the fact that uh, Jason and I are throwing about the same thing, he's got a jig. So he's just got a little skirt on his craw. I'm thinking it's the color because he's just using all natural. And this has got that shiny blue underbody. And I'm thinking that's what's kind of doing the trick this morning. This one's probably pretty torn up. Let's see if we can't go find some more. It all feels so different. 12 pound line or something, huh? No. Oh, I did have the nibbles. Did you see the nibbles? I did have the nibbles, dude. Get over here. What the hell are you doing? They want that. Let's go. This rock right here. I'm like, I wonder if I just drop it in. Whoa. 
Whoa, dude. Oh my god. The way that I th <laughs> get him, dude. Get him. Get him. Your first fish. You got him? Oh my god. Where's he at? That's your fish. <laughs> Where's your fish? Where'd he go? I got him. I got him. <laughs> oh man. So money zone. <laughs> Finally. Dude, yeah, when you set that hook, I thought it was a giant. And then I saw it fly out the water. I was like, yeah, even when it's hitting the grass edge, what I've been doing is just kind of like popping it right to like the surface of it. Yeah, because never know. Jason showed me up at the first spot. He linked up with the big one. I'd say three, three and a half. You could even call it five uh, since you're watching my channel. But, <laughs> but we're gonna make it to the next spot. I've got a lot picked out for us, so I don't know where we're headed next yet, but we about to find out, y'all. So let's get over to the car. Just rolled up to spot number two, probably the last spot we'll get a shady parking place at. And uh, <laughs> varied things up a little bit. We're skipping the plopper. We're just gonna bring the frog because there's a little froggy section over here that we might just get lucky with. And then I brought the swim bait. We got a fluke and we got the Texas rig. So let's hop on over here to spot number two. Fresh battery in the GoPro, fresh crack and crawl out the box. Let's get into it. Texas rig, I'm gonna pitch right here for half a second. Dude, to catch a fish out of here would just be, and I know people are doing it. Look at this gill chilling right here. Ha. A few gills. I really think they'll hit these swim baits at the next one though, so like we should uh, both have one on. Oh, we headed to spot number three, right down the street from this popular spot off of El Dorado over here in Frisco. And uh, this next one, I think, has a lot less of this junk. And we could get lucky, boys, so let's hit it. Still in the shade. Sweet. We found more shade at spot three. Oh my gosh, that's the last of it. <laughs> we about to hit this pond right here. We've been here before. There's some goodins in here. I'm gonna take the old swim bait. I think we can uh, get lucky on the gill. Never thrown it here. Never thrown a fluke here. All these baits that I'm just now getting into that I've never thrown in the past at this location are about to get thrown. We've learned our lesson. We are now traveling light. Two rods, Texas rig, swim bait, and the most amount of tackle that can fit in one backpack possible. Spooked a good one right here, dude. I'm thinking the swim bait's gonna shine right here. I'm gonna throw it first, too. Oh my God, a big one, a big one. He's circling back, he's circling back. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh. What the heck, guys? Where did he go? Look at that wake. Oh my gosh. This is a big fish. Dude, eight bass right here. Hey, eight bass. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No interest. Dude, they're right here. All right, guys, here's what's on the agenda. I'm gonna take off the Sakoshi Bug Ned rig. It's catching a lot of junk. And I'm gonna tie on a green pumpkin drag and drop with uh, Sticky's Wacky Rig or Drop Shot Hook and a Woo quarter ounce tungsten weight. And we're gonna hit these things right where they want it. How I've always done my drop shots, personally, is uh, first of all, you probably wanna use a spinning setup with lighter line, but I'm just throwing what I've got with me right here, which is the White Bird rod with, uh, I believe 17 pound fluorocarbon is what's on this. That's fine, we'll make do. We'll roll with it. So once you get a handle on things, you tie a Palomar knot, but you wanna leave a lot of slack. So carry a lot of extra line, and that's gonna be what we use to tie the weight to further down. And this isn't too deep, so I'm not gonna leave like a whole foot. We'll see what seems right here in just a second. All right, we just tied a Palomar knot, and we have about, we have about eight inches of extra line on the tag end here. So tighten that Palomar knot down. And here's what you wanna do. You want this hook to be angled up. When you're fishing the drop shot, you want the hook to be angled up in the water. And how you can rest assured that's happening is after you tie your Palomar knot, you slip the tag end of your line down through the top of the hook like this, starting from that top side, and you pull down. Now, whenever this hook's in the water, it's gonna be held upright. 
see how that works right there because you took the line and put it back through the hook from that top end now we just put our drop shot weight on let's grab one of these it will match the grass in here perfectly and be unseen by the fish as we drag this thing along the bottom all we do is just slip the line through then pull up to tighten should be locked and loaded that's perfect slightly up from the weight let's rig up the drag and drop and get to work and we just rig the drag and drop right through the nose and if I don't get any bites on this right away because I think I will all I'm gonna change up is shortening the drag and drop just down to a little bit more of the tail and I think that will do the trick if they're still being finicky even with a drop shot set up here so let's get in there I've been watching these fish and they're watching us too man they're super smart they keep their eyes on the bank and uh, they've been hearing that swim bait hit the water and they don't like it so they swim right off you spook them now this drag and drop is much lighter and should hit first cast first cast there we go that's what I'm talking about it's a little guy but that's okay we're just getting started over here at pond number three man pumped first cast on the drag and drop you guys know if you watch the channel I rarely ever throw drop shot rigs and so it's rewarding to get a catch after I just show you guys how to rig that sucker up. Look at this guy right here. Surely the smallest catch we're gonna get today on this thing. But now, I think we've identified what they're gonna hit on quite frequently. See if we can't get one a little bit bigger. That's exciting. How cool is that? First cast on the drop shot rig. Wow. AP Bassin style right there. Do I have him? Oh, he came off. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun now. I see one. There he is, he got it, yep. Sight casting him. That was cool. I just whispered, I see one. <laughs> Swam it over to him and dropped it right in front of his face, guys. That was cool. <gasps> he spit my worm. I need that, come back. Whoa, chill. chill. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, oh no. Solid pound and a half, and he's just gonna flop right back in the water. Gotcha. Oh man, there we go, y'all. Drop shot, bam. Healthy fish, nice and fat, about a pound. Back in there with ya. Probably a little over a pound, actually. Undercutting my little buddy there. Totally spit the worm. I would much rather find it than go find another one. Oh yes, that's how you do it. Bam, re-rig. Whoa, you see that? Oh my God. That was a big fish, dude. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Yep. Okay. That's three. Three on the drop shot. I was going for the other one right there, but then this guy hit it. That's awesome. Get him back in the water. You'd be free. And would you look at that? I'm on the far side of the pond with no more dragon drops. But here's a Sanko. If somebody wants to leave a random Sanko, I will drop shot it and be glad to catch a fish since my dragon drops are over there. Gotta go get some more dragon drops. This Sanko just ain't doing it. This used Yamamoto or whatever. Quick update, guys. I think I kind of identified this little pattern. They are loving the drag and drop they're all up shallow i just keep walking along the bank spooking them catching some and having some fun guys so i'm gonna put these other two rods back in the car jay's on the far end of the pond we just kind of agreed we're gonna walk half and half me to the other side cover the whole thing real quick now that we've kind of identified what they're munching on and then we will hit spot number four yeah looks good for the drop shot but they like that mush they're hanging around by all those bait fish dude i saw it again over here and immediately got bites over there and it took my dragon drop and then i didn't get hit again i say we go either get lunch or head to the next one in the neighborhood that's pretty sweet. On to the next spot then. Just wrapped up Chipotle lunch. Guys and gals, we're headed over to a pond I've been wanting to fish for a while. This is gonna be the fourth spot, I believe. It is the Gloria's Mexican food restaurant pond. It's Sunday, it's right around 12 noon. Everyone's gonna be out for lunch. We're gonna sip on a couple mojitos while we crank some bass. Probably can't do that. Shade! We found more shade! <laughs> and I don't know what happens, but you know, we find the shady spots out here. Anyways, 
we are walking up to a spot that I'm being too loud to approach because we'll be getting kicked out by management in no time. I can guarantee it. Everyone's out here trying to enjoy lunch and we're those guys that are just casting away at the pond. Literally do not even know if there is a fish in this thing. We are going straight to the black and blue. If we catch anything in here, I will be amazed after seeing it up close. So stained. Let's see. Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> Never fished here. <laughs> I watch all your videos. Do you now. really? No yeah. way. What's your name? Jack. Jack? Dude, nice Weston. You. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, I was like, I didn't know if they were fishing here or not. I don't, I don't think there is, man. I was. I figured if if, uh, if there is, he's throwing a white chatterbait and I'm yeah. throwing black and blue, like we'd probably definitely find some, yeah, right? I think so. <laughs> but I think we're going to hit uh, another couple ponds after this. My buddy's yeah. up from Austin. And uh, that'll probably be that. Yeah, no, we were out of the. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, I, I was I was considering taking him there. Uh... Yeah, we caught quite a few yesterday. I caught him. Really? On a, a frog. I caught him on. A, no on way, dude. That, you know that pond where you caught like that five pounder out of that one? Uh, some with like the waterfall and uh, stones. Yes, yes, yes. That one right yeah, there, dude. That right there, I caught uh, quite a few on a frog in that pond. No way. Stuff, yeah. <sighs> it's nice. That is perfect, dude. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking him there after. Uh, after here, we might go to one more little urban spot by the Marriott Hotel at like, I want to say it's Preston 121. If you're on Instagram, have you DM'd me uh, before? Yes, I have. You have? Yep. Uh, well, hit me up, dude, if you want to okay. come fish with us. Uh, well, he's splitting, but come fish with me sometime, dude. That'd be sick. We're probably going to go down there this afternoon. This afternoon? Let's fish it soon for sure, yes. dude. That would be so sick. All Pleasure right. to meet you in person, brother. Hit me up with a DM, though, while you're yeah, here. I will. will. you? All right, sick. Is that not one of the juiciest city ponds you have seen? I mean, this is absolutely nuts. We gave it the full rigmarole, man. 10 minutes at least, black and blue. He's throwing shad chatter bait. We covered this thing. It is that tiny. And uh, we're off to catch some actual fish now. Just met a subscriber, Jack. Super cool dude. We're gonna hit with him. Oh wait, we're gonna hit this secret neighborhood pond spot with him that I just shouted out that I'm not supposed to say because there's big fish in there and y'all don't like when I give away these spots. Here, there's five pounders in the glorious pond, y'all. Come hit it. <laughs> Alright guys, pond number five. We have made it. Let's get to fishing. They like the moving stuff here. So, let's get down to business. Another bite? Dude! I want to make sure you get fish here. Let's tie on a crankbait, I think. There we go. Hey, solid. Yes, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Dugan Squad crankbaits. Woo! Biggest one for me of the day came on the new Guggen Squad crankbaits. Ch -ch -ch ching Healthy little sucker out of this pond right here, the urban spot that we are frequently getting kicked out of. Let's try and get, uh, let's try and get us another one. What? No. It's really, really. Oh, flop in. I know there's one right here, dude. Oh God! Oh, that was probably a branch. Oh, okay, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, he's swimming right towards us. Oh, he came off. Wow. He came off. What in the blizzard? Oh, there he is. I'll let him play. I'll let him play. Oh, he's just gave up. <laughs> Another decent one on the Guggen Squad crankbait. Yes, let's go. A lot of them are usually pretty good size out of here. I'm curious, like, I'm curious what the bigger ones are. Uh-oh. No fishing? We'll split. That's a deal. We just got the boot. Wow, okay, got the boot from there. That was maybe 20 minutes or something. That was fun, though. Might have been more than 20. We're there for a hot minute. Get the gear back in the ride and head to the last pond of the day, number six or something. There we go. Just got to spot number six, at least. Six, seven, eight, I don't even know at this point. Looked real like mossy on top. What time is it? 
It's now 1.15 in the afternoon. Can we catch a frogfish at 1.15 in the afternoon? I think so. Got one. No way. Oh my god, the drag was not tight. No. The drag was loose. Oh my god, we just had one on the frog here. No. No, dudes. That was a three pounder. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll get another hit. Oh my gosh, literally just had one. Dude, I haven't caught a fish on the Corrado DC all day and the fish took it under. I set the hook and I was literally bringing him in and it was going nowhere and the drag was loose. I literally would have had him, he was locked down. Oh, got him baby. Drop shot. <laughs> Getting it finesse style. Shot, see the little silver flash though? The yeah. pur, the black pur. The black pur. <laughs> yes, dude. Was that like, did it hit the top? No, it's right underneath the water. I saw it come all the way Yo. I'm telling you, dude, there's big ones in here. There's such a, there's a good concentration of like fours and fives in here. I don't know where they're at. It's like, what are they doing right now? You know what I mean? Please. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys, we had an absolute blast. Smashed them. Nuts, man. It was crazy. Smashed them. Definitely got to thank Jason for taking the drive all the way up here from Austin, Texas to North DFW. Absolutely. <sighs> we got on them, though. I'll tell you what, between me, him, and like 10 rods in the Subaru, I'd say we uh, made it happen. Like six ponds, seven ponds, eight ponds. We kind of like hopped a couple in the same area. Like, here's two that I hit but technically it was one. Actually, I hit that one over there. So this is like three ponds. I think we hit like 10 ponds today. We did breakfast, lunch. And dinner coming up. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> what more could you ask for? I'm also gonna link all Jason's info down below, Instagram and YouTube. So be sure to check him out, get his subs up. Let's get him some views. He's actually putting in some work. He's doing, he's catching some big fish down in Austin, Texas. He's got a boat he takes out to Lake Travis. He don't mess around. So he's going full tilt. Be sure to subscribe and check him out on Instagram as well. And thank you guys so much for all the recent success. Go check out Instagram for the giveaway, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.